These are the brand new AirPods Pro 2 and I've been using them for a couple days now and let me tell you, they are the most underrated product that Apple released by far at the Apple event. So the AirPods truly revolutionized the wireless headphone industry and it got so far from its competition and now Apple has grabbed that farness even further. They truly feel like everything is new. They now pack the H2 chip, which allows AirPods Pro to have a way superior audio quality. They now have a new low distortion driver, an amplifier, and advanced computational audio, which basically all of this means that you're gonna get way much more improvement in bass. Now, I'm not even gonna tell you, they sound so much better than the previous generation. Like it's honestly so shocking that I wasn't expecting the AirPods Pro 2 to sound this much better and the difference to be this much. Noise cancellation has also been improved and now delivers double the noise cancellation than the previous generation. Perfect for those of us who live in cities. Something pretty neat and kind of groundbreaking if you think about it is adaptive transparency mode. Now, have you ever been in this situation? You're at the street, and you hear like a very loud noise. Let's say an ambulance, <laughs> literally an ambulance. This is not a sound effect, I promise this is actually happening. Imagine that, right? An ambulance is passing by. I can't believe this just happened. Okay, imagine you're at the street, right? Music is playing, huge ambulance passes by. So the first thing that you do is pull up the music, right? But it's too loud, so it's kind of obnoxious, so you pull it down. Then you're like, yeah, I'll turn on noise cancellation so you don't listen to anything. But then, you wanna hear what's around you, right? Sometimes you're at the city and you're crossing streets and you wanna hear what's around you. So then you turn on transparency mode, but that huge ambulance is like hurting your ears. So what has Apple done with this? Adaptive transparency mode will turn down that obnoxious sound, that ambulance, that construction work, but all the rest will stay the same. I'm kind of angry at Apple that this is my favorite feature of the AirPods Pro you can finally turn up and turn down the volume of your AirPods Pro by simply swiping up and swiping down on your AirPods Pro stem. Why has Apple not done this before? Don't ask me. It's finally here and I'm so happy that it's here and it's kind of my favorite new feature. I mean, it's so useful, it's so basic. Every headphone, earphone should have this, but still. I'm extremely happy that it's finally here. The AirPods case as well has also been getting a lot of new features, especially in the Find My network. The case now has precision finding, so the Find My app will guide you to exactly their location. And the case also now has speakers, so you can locate your AirPods Pro when they're hiding in your couch. And now when you play a sound, the LED will actually light up, which is extremely useful for those dark scenarios. And let me tell you, by the way, this speaker surprised me on how loud it actually is. Now the case itself looks and feels exactly the same because well it looks and feels exactly the same except on the right side because we now get a lanyard loop so if you want to strap your airpods to your backpack to your jeans whatever you want to do you can now do that with this tiny hole. Now I'm kind of surprised that Apple is actually not selling like an actual loop that's a very non-Apple thing to do. I mean give us something and then let third-party companies actually sell loops. I was surprised that we weren't getting Apple official loops. Just saying. Whoa. Doing 90 on a jet ski. Let's talk battery life because we've had some massive improvements there as well. We now get up to six hours of listening time, which that is a 33% increase over the previous generation. That's a big increase. Also, talking about the battery, you can now charge your AirPods with an Apple Watch charger. Why? I don't know. Is it useful? Maybe. Maybe one day I'll charge my AirPods with an Apple Watch charger. I mean, I guess it's pretty cool that you can now charge your AirPods via Lightning, via MagSafe, via Qi wireless charger, via an Apple Watch charger now. I mean, give me all the options, baby. Something that I still don't understand about the AirPods or technically about the iPhone is why can I still not charge my AirPods with my iPhone? I mean, wouldn't it be cool for the AirPods to just be MagSafe and it will just strap on the back of the phone? All right, am I the only one that thinks like this? Am I the only one that thinks that the AirPods Pro 2 are a massive improvement over the previous generation? I mean, I was personally not expecting this many 
features. And if you're saying no, go to the Apple Store and trust me, go test out the sound quality because I'm not an audiophile, I enjoy music, but I'm pretty confident that audiophiles will be like, yeah, these are actually pretty good. I never usually say this. I you know I never usually tell people to buy the new iPhone every single year to buy the new Apple Watch every single year, but they're a pretty solid upgrade this year. The sound quality truly does it for me and the Find My features and the transparency. So my answer to you is yes. They just feel new and sound amazing. I'm good, tell you.